Exactly. Yeah, so right. you can't do it from the bottom up. Okay. Yeah, after we're gonna straighten it, don't worry. This is fine. Yeah. Because we're going with measurements. Today we have here with us a new brick layer. It will be laying stone right here in this wall here. I'm gonna have you guys as a judge to let me know if you think we should keep him. And at the end of the video, I'll give you my honest take of why he's moving the way he's moving, why he's so slow in my opinion. I think he's a bit slow. You guys can let me know in the comment section as well. The homeowner doesn't want me to keep him working, but again, everyone need a chance. All of us start out the way he's starting out right now. Not as fast, not as accurate. So I tried to, to verge and try to get him to continue to work. But as we go in the video, you will see at the end of the video, I'll give you my honest take and what he can do in order to improve himself. And you guys will let me know in the comment section if you think that we should keep him and maybe teach him and, you know, bit by bit, he will increase his speed. Because I think one of the reasons why most of us are so slow in laying stone is because we don't understand it. And in order for you to improve your speed and move more faster, it just it just once you try to um, understand the the magnitude of laying stone, it's just like when you're going to a direction and you don't know the address for where you're going. It takes you longer because you keep on miss roads and and go in the wrong direction. So once you learn how to lay stone the right and proper way in terms of knowing the rules and the law that you need to apply or abide by, then that way you will go more faster. Moving on, we're gonna start to lay a little bit of stone here. Within a few minutes from now, we'll have our new brick layer um, comes on. So laying stone, if you follow me and move through of my video, you will know that we have a rule that we abide by. And that rule would be to your bed joint, which where I'm spreading my mat right now. You don't want to go no longer than four feet. And the edge joint, you don't want to go no higher than the biggest size stone that you have. Most stone, the biggest size is probably going to be 11 and a half. I believe my biggest size stone here that we're using is seven and a half. So you don't want to go no higher than seven and a half. Each time you reach up to seven and a half, you want to break that. Here on this job, you're going to see we have some joints that's longer than four feet. And this is how the homeowner wants it. Now we're installing some stone that comes in some long pieces. So the homeowner wants us to go as long as possible as we can go for him. That's the way how he likes it. You want us to stagger the joints like put small on top of small maybe like three four courses on top of each other that's how we like it so don't trace me in the comment section if you see we do a lot of that because that's how we want it so this is my new bricklayer here that we have he's gonna um, lay some stone for us um, from my experience by watching him work I can tell that he's not laying stone for a long period of time or if he do you don't really get the exposure to it as much. The reason why I said that because before when I used to work in the union, most bricklayer, I would say maybe like 50 to 80% of bricklayer out there right now don't know how to lay stone. Because once you're working with a company, usually they always, if you're the stone guy, they always keep you as the stone guy. So a lot of other bricklayers doesn't get the chance to go out there and try to learn how to lay stone. So if they have you as a brick guy and you're pretty fast and accurate laying bricks, they leave you to continue to just lay brick. And if they see that you're very clean, neat and fast laying stone, then they'll have you continue to lay stone at all times. So you become that stone guy. So a lot of bricklayers out there don't get the exposure to learn how to lay stone out there on the field. When I used to work in the union a couple of years back, I used to be the guy who do all the stone work, all the major work, all the the details like herring bone, all the pattern. I'm the one who usually take over those things. Um, for like a situation right here, huh? where I've got three, what's your what's your rule of uh? Stacking them on top of each other. Doesn't matter. Okay. Because this type of stone and the way you want it, 
you know what I mean? The rule not going to be applying most, okay. in most cases. Because like, sometimes you don't want to go too many, right? You don't want to go like five, six. Four, four small. Go, okay. Come with here, it's fine. That's what you like it anyway. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, so from my experience of laying stone, I don't think a, a stone mason should stop, stand up and use two to three or even five seconds to look to know what stone you need to put there. Because by knowing the rule of laying stone, once you lay a small or a medium or even a big stone, automatically it calls for what type of stone to go next. So for me, as I experience stone mason, if I stand and I see you laying stone, and I notice that you're standing there trying to figure out, look like a few minutes you stand there trying to figure out what stone should I put. That's obviously you don't really understand the rules. And I'm going to try to explain to you the rules and maybe it will, you will get a better understanding of it. But, or if you guys want me to make a detailed video of going through, break it down step by step, leave it in the comment section and I'll, I'll make a video breaking down step by step what stone to put before and after. Um, here I am going to try and explain to you guys. Um, so that way you guys will have a bit of understanding of what stone should go before and after So for instance here right at the door here, you see he have a big stone Usually the ones we have a big in most cases We try not to have a big on top of a big so if you have a big you jolly want to have Either a small most likely a small because the big you only want to have like a, a certain percentage of big stone within your wall so you have a big right here at the door there. I would probably put a medium because you already have a line coming straight across with a small stone right beside where the big one is right there. Now, if there was a medium where that one close beside this, the big one is, I would probably go with small on top of this big one, go right across. But if you put a small on top of this big, then the line that's already there gonna be around eight feet long. So you don't want to have that line too long. Remember earlier in the video we said we don't want it to be no longer than four feet, which in this particular case it's gonna be more than four feet because this is all the homeowner wanted. But you want to always bear that in mind that our line not supposed to be no longer than four feet. So where this one is beside the door here, I would put a medium go all the way back to where he have the small stone. And also, if you have any tips that you think will help um, with my, my new bricklayer here to improve, you know what I mean, in, in, um, in laying stone. I know lots of you guys who are watching, um, you know, my video is a trade man yourself. So feel free to leave it in the comment section if, then, you know, if you can think of any tricks or tips that you think that will help him to improve his speed or, you know, help him to understand uh, more better. Um, I'm pretty sure if we keep him and he's, he's around us, eventually we'll learn and become a real good mason. Um, he's, he's a pretty cool um, young man as you see here. 
but you just need to understand the rules of, of laying stone because like I said if you don't understand you will go slow if you do understand what you're doing you will go fast you don't need to stand up a few minutes and look to try to figure out you know what type of stone to go to go there so as you see here he's putting a medium which you know I said that's what I would put if I if it was me so that's a good thing there the only thing here I'd probably straighten the, the face of this stone a little bit better I like to have it nice and straight um, usually I use the back of the hammer instead of the claw part of the hammer the more flatter part and just use it to bang down the face of the stones because it's going to the door so you want to have it nice and straight as possible as you can get it and another another thing I would do as well I would put my level across just that way we can have this stone plumb so I would just level it across that way we have that we know that stone that's going close to the door is nice and plumb right here where he's putting the model I would continue it with a medium so right there I probably wouldn't put that small one because the line is already long that's um, there but again the homeowner don't mind to have the the line long but I would probably continue on over with a medium rather than put another small right there so as you see he's knocking the wall right now he's just knocking it to get the sound of the inside of the wall so that way he can nail these brick ties that he's putting into the studs on the inside of the wall to help to to reinforce to support the wall Exactly. Yeah, yeah, after we're gonna straighten it, don't worry. This is fine. Yeah. Because we're going with measurements. Four and three quarters. This one probably wanna put one, in a yeah. But after once we all run up, then I'm gonna go what, like you're doing now, and then knock it and inside after. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. After you go up, you won't even notice it like that. So what I'll, I'll do here now, small. I'll probably put put a, a little piece like of like medium here and then put a piece of small one. just to break it up. But after you put these ones, you're not going to notice it. It's just because of how it is right now. You won't notice it after. Okay. Uh, what I was going to do was small here and then a small right across the top. You can do that too if you want. Or okay. you could just put a small here just to break it like up. Like that. And then you put a medium, a medium. then another, a long small right too. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, let's take a 10 minute break now and then we'll go back and we'll come back at it. Okay. So here the homeowner off camera, you know, at first in the morning when I just started out, I sent uh, my new bricklayer here with the other guys them to come inside while I was on another site and the homeowner calls me 
um, you know, asking me if I'm close by. You know what I mean? Because he want he actually stopped the work. He's saying I don't want this guy to keep working if I'm not if I'm not there. So um, again, I'm not bashing the homeowner in any form or way or anything. Just in case you're watching this video, but you know, this guy to me personally, I think he knows what he's doing because at first, if he don't know what he's doing, I wouldn't have him here laying stone. That's the first thing, but. I strongly believe that everyone need a chance. I remember when I just started out, I used to have guys who I hacks how to read a tape and they're like, talk load. Man, you're working by the hour. What's wrong? You will learn. And they, they, they talk that high off the voice because they want the, 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 the foreman to hear them. So that, that way they can send me home. I don't want to be that guy. I want to give everyone a chance so that the way they can come out here, learn the trade. We're not getting any younger. So that way the trade can carry on. So I like to give people a chance. So guys, leave it in the comment section. Let me know what you think. If you think we should keep this guy here and continue to teach him, let me know in the comment section what you think he needs to do to improve his speed or, you know, to get a little bit better. Go in the comment and let me know. And if you get value from this video so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming video like this one. Thank you for watching as always. Well, there you have it, guys. Hope you get value from this video. If you do get value from this, if, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming video like this one. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.